It's 10 a.m. in Washington, where a deal has officially been reached to avoid a government shutdown. Congressional leaders and the White House have agreed uh, to funding for the Department of Homeland Security. That was the last sticking point to fund the government ahead of a weekend deadline. So joining me now is CBS News congressional correspondent Nicole Kelly. So, Nicole, I mean, is this like a real funding deal or is this like one of those things where they go in four down. months from now, we'll have to pick this up again? Well, keep in mind, we're kind of getting towards the end of the appropriations process and the government is going to have to be funded once again in the fall. So this will just <laughs> uh, continue to fund the government through that period of time. But uh, what leaders are touting is that this is the process as it should be. You know, the whole point of this exercise was to try to approve all of these appropriations bills, which in theory fund the government for the duration of the year. Now, it took a while for lawmakers to get there, but but they finally did. And even though there may be only three or four months left in the fiscal calendar, at least this will uh, clear all of those agencies, including the Department of Homeland Security, uh, through the end of this coming September. As you see there, a statement from President Biden saying we have come to an agreement with congressional leaders on a path forward for the funding bills. Uh, the House and Senate are now working to finalize a package that can quickly be brought to the floor. So that really is the last part of this puzzle is we're just kind of waiting on that legislative text. And keep in mind, CBS News reported last night that we uh, did know that this deal and this agreement was in place. Again, it's just a matter of kind of getting that text onto paper because, as you know, particularly in the House, they have a 72-hour rule where any legislation needs that 72-hour window to be reviewed. So even if we see text, for instance, tomorrow, you know, that's going to push lawmakers potentially into the weekend in terms of trying to finalize a deal. As you see, there's Speaker Mike Johnson also noting uh, that these the relative committees have begun drafting t bill text uh, that will be prepared for release. So again, from what I've been told, we're hoping that that could come as soon as tomorrow. Some are hoping as soon as today, although tomorrow again may seem more likely. Again, we'll have to see how quickly they can get pen to pad mm -hmm. <laughs> to try to move this deal forward. Uh, can I ask you quickly, Nicole, about the uh, TikTok bill that was passed uh, by the House? Uh, the Senate is back in session today. What are you learning? Yeah, well, we do know this week that there will be a briefing for lawmakers in the Senate on TikTok. Uh, in part, uh, this is something uh, that has been arranged through the Senate Intelligence Committee, where we know the chairs of that committee, Senators Mark Warner and uh, Senator Marco Rubio, have both been kind of heavily engaged around uh, the issue, not only of TikTok, but also uh, tech in general. So uh, we will see kind of what comes out of it. Obviously, it is uh, a big big moment here in the Senate because we saw how swiftly the House moved on that legislation to call on TikTok and call on its parent company ByteDance to divest. But whether or not the Senate will follow suit is a big if. And, you know, lawmakers are truly split on how to proceed. And we even just saw the TikTok CEO up here on Capitol Hill trying to meet with senators uh, last week. So there is a lot of pressure on the part of TikTok to try to kill this bill. But uh, that being being said, we know the Senate is a deliberative body, and so that's what they intend to do as they consider uh, this potential House legislation. All right, Nicole Killian for us on the Hill. Thank you, Nicole.